Am I a lucky SOB? Yes. He's giving me his custom Harley Davidson fat boy. Is he crazy? Should I keep it? My name's Eamon. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about this beautiful custom Harley Davidson fat boy. I'm here at my friend John's house. He's got too many motorbikes. He's decided to give me his custom Harley Davidson fat boy. Should I keep it? or should I give it back? Let me know in the comments. Hang around to the end of the video. I'll let you know what I think of this bike and whether I'm gonna keep it for myself or give it back. Personally, I love fat boys. I've had four of them. I've switched over to a street glide. Can this bike get me back? It's faster than my bike. It's lighter than my bike. Let me know in the comments what you think of fat boys in general. This beautiful paint job. Talk about good luck, my mate John has got a garage full of bikes, he's always turning them over and he's one of the luckiest people I've ever met when it comes to purchasing bikes. He always finds the right one and it's always at the best price. He's picked this one up second hand with the mods already done by Marrow's Customs up in Wyong, New South Wales. He thought to himself this is exactly the way I would do the bike and bang he's got himself a good deal and it is a sensational bike, let me tell you. Now, personally, I wouldn't do all of these mods. The engine mods are done very similar to my bike, so, <laughs> you know, that's good. Uh, the handlebars are a little bit too close for me. I'm six foot four, so it makes it a little bit difficult to ride. If I'm keeping this bike, that's the, probably the only thing I'm gonna change short term. The Harley Davidson Fat Boy was released in about 1990 with an 80 cubic inch engine in the soft tail frame and was easily recognized by the solid disc wheels. The first model came out in a light gunmetal gray with some yellow trim. People say that it's named after the two atomic bombs dropped on Japan. They were called Fat Man and Little Boy. But even if this is true, I doubt Harley would publicly state that. Let me know in the comments if you know more. Arnold Schwarzenegger famously rode a black 1991 Fat Boy in Terminator 2, and that probably made it an iconic bike. And it's interesting to see that one of the actual bikes used in the movie sold for 480,000 American dollars a few years ago. I saw Terminator 2 when it came out and thought that that's the bike for me. I traded my Quacker for a Fat Boy, and I've been riding them ever since. I've had four fat boys and I love them. What's interesting about the fat boy is when I first bought one in the very early 90s, I thought it was an absolutely massive bike. Now I've had four fat boys, then I've switched over to street glides. I've had two street glides, so I haven't ridden a fat boy for probably six, seven, maybe eight years. I've jumped on this, it goes really well, but it feels small, light, and like a little toy actually. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, after the street glide, it's incredibly nimble. Now, John's sitting over there laughing at me, calling out, I want it back. <laughs> Besides the weight of the bike, when I'm riding this, the engine feels a lot more, res no, not a lot more, a little bit more responsive and tight. I would put that down to either the balancing system in, the, in these engines, because I believe the soft tails are balanced differently than the uh, touring bikes or it could be the tune because obviously it's got a different tune. This is a 2018 Fat Boy with an M8 114 cubic inch engine. The paint is a Harley Davidson Factory Limited Edition paint. It's called Resurgence. Now the disc wheels on Fat Boys have changed over the years. They've got these little um, inserts for want of a better word and this one's had the inserts painted black. The bike's also got these magnificent very tough looking two inch burly bars with an eight inch rise. Originally this bike had a lot of chrome on it. It's been totally blacked out including the engine components. Got an SNS 475 cam which is the same as what my street ride's got so I'm expecting similar performance. It's been dynoed at 132 horsepower. It's also got a TBR 2 into 1 Comp S full system exhaust. 
Looks pretty good in my opinion. I like a two into one on certain bikes and I think it definitely suits this fat boy. It's got Defiance hand grips and foot pegs, which are, I guess, straight out of the Harley catalog. It's got a sick tail tidy with hidden indicators. The seat has been uh, tailored to have a bit of a red cross stitching and a snake skin insert. I'm not sure who's done that. It's got front and rear axle covers. It's got carbon fiber covers on the fuel caps and center tank panel. It's got a Screamin' Eagle Heavy Breather Elite Air Cleaner Kit, and that's also got carbon fibre trim. The Derby and the Timing Cover have both got carbon fibre trim. It's got a Screamin' Eagle Ignition Coil Cover and fat spark plug leads. Not sure who's done these uh, mirrors, but they're um, aftermarket mirrors. So it's had a range of changes. I actually like the look of the blacked out bikes better. Less washing, they look a bit meaner. I know everyone's doing black now, but I still like them better. How are you, mate? Danielson. I think I've spoken to you before, have I? Me? Did I tell you the story about in America, there's a club in America, it's Harley Davidson Club. That's a bloody nice bike, mate. It is. It's now watch this, I'm going to start it up and it's going to make you jump. Yeah? yeah. What do you reckon? There's a club over there and they, to they, they told the story about Harley Davidson and how they built them and where they could prevent them from scratch. My yeah. late father-in-law has got an old bantam. Oh, okay. Green Bantam. You don't see many of those around. No, and, and my my brother my brother in law got it, still got it. It still goes and everything. Beautiful. Rebuilt it. Rebuilt it. Now block your ears, yeah, mate. Start it up. interesting thing for those of you who want to be fitter, faster, stronger, gain some muscle, look better, it's quite obvious that if you own a fat boy this just magically happens to you. Have a look at Arnold. And then have a look at my friend John, the owner of this fat boy. And then of course there's me, I'm, I'm a bit more modest than this. There is no doubt about it, the fat boy has a positive effect on you. If you like this fat boy or you're thinking about um, doing something to your own bike, make sure you have a look at my video, Nine Essential Mods for Your Harley Davidson. And as usual, if you liked today's video, give me a big thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, put in the comments why you didn't like it. Give me a thumbs down, let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.